Hello friends, welcome to Awaken the Heart. I'm your host, Jennifer Martin, and I am from Contagious Love International Ministries. You can find out more about me by going to contagiousloveintl.com. If this is your first time viewing, welcome. We're gonna discuss the coronavirus or Jesus who wins, okay? And I have some, some really good teaching today that's gonna, we're just gonna dive into the presence of God and we're gonna see what the Lord is saying in this time because welcome, welcome, welcome friends that are jumping on. If you're watching the replay, just want to say, go ahead and fast forward a minute or two. I'm going to say hello to my friends jumping on and we're going to get straight into coronavirus or Jesus who wins. The Lord's been speaking to me some stuff about this, gave me a dream last night, gave me some scripture, gave me some word, gave me some good detailed things about what is really going on here in the spirit. And I think you guys know, we know in the spirit, but it's been creating a lot of fear. So we're going to approach this subject today and we're going to bring the faith of God into this and we're going to bring some truth. And we're going to see the, the, the attempts of the enemy to try to come in and stop something that the Lord is doing. But we're not going to let him, are we? And this is going to really encourage you today. Wait till you see what the Lord gave me. You want to hang on here. You want to stay with me, guys, because this is powerful. He started unloading this to me last night. And then he gave me a dream last night. He started tying it together. Hey, this is what I'm saying right now to my church. This is what I, I want my church to hear. Um, in the midst of all of this. Okay. So we're going to discuss this. So welcome friends. Thank you for joining. And if you take a minute to share, we're going to get straight into prayer. Hello, Melissa. Hey friends. I'm going to say hey to you guys for just a minute. Tell me hello and tell me where you're watching from. Hi, Joshua. Yes, you agree. Yeah. It's going to be powerful this year. We know that this is the year of 2020. We're going to talk about that. Like everyone's saying, man, we were so excited for 2020. And then it's like, we got blindsided by this thing across the world. What is going on? We were getting all these prophetic words. We were so excited about this year. Well, I'm going to talk to you about that. I'm going to explain it to you. We're going to give some clarity. We're going to give some, some information to you from the Holy Spirit. It's going to help you understand how is this working? What is going on in the spirit? So we're going to talk about this. Hey, Jack, Jackie, you're watching from Greenfield. Good to see you. Hey guys. Amen. Barone, good to see you on here. Hallelujah. You guys just begin to start praying in the spirit. Those of you that have already jumped on, say hello to me and take a minute and share this. This is going to be good today. We're going to talk about the coronavirus or Jesus who wins. I think you guys know the answer. I think you know. Hi, Mike. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we just give you praise. We give you praise for this time. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we give this time for you. We set aside this time for you. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, begin to just drop on us right now. And, Lord, orchestrate this by your spirit of counsel, by your spirit of wisdom, by your spirit of understanding. Lord, we just thank you for that right now, that Holy Spirit, you would come and you would make me an oracle of your word, Father. Help me to flow exactly how you want to flow to your people. Help me to deliver this word with clarity. Lord, and I ask for your anointing to come upon this word. And Lord, that your anointing would break every yoke. And Lord, that you would release a spirit of faith in us today. Lord, I ask for supernatural encounters. Ask for supernatural increase. Ask for the anointing. Ask for your presence. Lord, I ask for you, Holy Spirit, to just begin to unify us in the spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, on the session. We welcome you to speak to us. Shine your light, Lord. For you in your scripture, it says, in your light, we see light. So I thank you, Lord, for your light upon this session today so that we can see the light and the truth of what you're saying, Father. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Just pray in the spirit for just a minute here. We love you. We thank you. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We enter into your courts with praise. Hallelujah. I want you guys to stir up yourself first in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Jude 20 that we build up our faith praying in the Holy Ghost. I want you guys to pray in the Holy Ghost for just 30 seconds to a minute right now. I want you to prepare your spirit for this word because this word's going to come in and it's going to bring some illumination. It's going to bring some revelation. 
revelation. It's going to bring a lifting. You're going to see clearly and something's going to shift in your spirit today about this whole thing where fear has tried to grip your heart. God is going to bring in a spirit of faith. He's going to grip your heart with faith. When you see what I break down for you today in the word of God and what the Lord showed me and through my dream last night, you're going to see this thing is going to become null and void. It's not going to attack. It's not going to affect your life. You're going to, we're going to see the truth behind this whole assignment. Come on, 30 more seconds. I need every single one of you praying in the Holy Ghost. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit speak to me as I'm speaking in tongues and I'm hearing him prophesy things to me. I hear the voice of the Lord speaking about this right now. I hear him saying, surely, surely. Surely my light shall rise upon you. Surely my glory will be seen upon you, my bride, my church. So who wins, guys? Who wins today? The coronavirus or Jesus? Who wins? The devil doesn't get to win. We say Jesus wins. We proclaim. We speak. And I'm going to unfold this word to you guys that's going to really help you understand what is going on in the spirit. Why is this happening? Lord, didn't Bob Jones just prophesy that 2020 would be the beginning of the greatest youth harvest and a billion youth would come in starting this year? Lord, didn't you prophesy that this was the year of the mouth, the year that the prophets would speak and decree and things would begin to shift in the spirit? Lord, didn't you prophesy? Lord, didn't you say, Lord, in 2020, didn't you say a great harvest is at hand? What is going on? The beginning of 2020, Lord, the whole world gets slammed with this coronavirus, with this attack. What is going on, Lord? Surely something is going on. Lord, what do you say? Jesus, what do you say about this? Okay, now I'm going to break this down for you guys. The Lord is moving in this time and the enemy has tried to counteract what the Holy Spirit is doing. See, there's a great harvest in the land and the enemy is trying to counteract the the great harvest coming forth. Okay, so first I want to break down what coronavirus is. I want to break down this word corona. Corona, you guys might know or you may not know. Corona means crown. This is a crown virus. What is a crown for? A crown is to esteem something king. It's to establish the revelation of authority. So this coronavirus is coming through, right? This, this devil, this attack, and he's saying, I've got the crown. I'm king. I'm exalting myself in the land. I'm going forth and I'm bringing destruction. I rule. I reign. There's a devil behind this assignment. And he's trying to place a crown upon his head in mockery to our king. Jesus is king. You guys know that I had that word in the high praise song where I heard the Lord say Jesus will be lifted up upon his governmental authority uh, starting last year. I saw it in 2019. At the end of 2018, it started in 2019. The Lord said, I'm raising up Jesus and the revelation of Jesus that he is king. We know he's Lord and Savior, but the revelation that Jesus is king and high and lifted up above what? Every other name. Okay, now stay on with me because I've got something really good in the Bible. I mean, y'all are going to want to hear this. I mean, it's going to make you like jump up and shout. Okay. Okay, so hold on with me. Let me build for just a minute. So Jesus is king. So what have we got here? We've got a coronavirus. We've got a virus trying to say, I'm king virus. I'm crowned virus. I'm trying to lift myself above the name of Jesus Christ, who is truly king. Jesus is king. And we saw that revelation come forth. We saw the album by Kanye West titled Jesus is King. I'm not just talking about Kanye. I'm talking about the revelation and the declaration of the Lord's voice that he's using many vessels and many prophets in this time coming forth saying we're seeing an establishment of the kingdom of the government and the authority of the believer. We're seeing faith arise. We're seeing authority arise. We're seeing the glory of God upon his people. We're seeing Jesus as king in his bride. 
Okay, so what is the enemy going to do, guys? This should encourage us more than discourage us. Listen, so when Jesus is establishing his kingdom and his government authority upon his people, then there's going to be a counterattack by the enemy. Oh, hallelujah. See, persecution, it just confirms what God is doing. So this is why you need to get excited that we're not excited that people have, have died and lost their lives, okay? But we're going to see an end to this thing because something's going to happen in God's people. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I need to break the this down for you, but we are going to see something happen that's going to shift everything that's going to push us into this great harvest. So actually the enemy thinks he's winning. Oh yes, he does. He thinks he's going to establish his crown. Corona means crown above Jesus. He thinks he's taking Jesus's crown. He thinks he's going to establish over him, but he's not. And what he's actually doing against God, God's going to turn around and use for good. Scripture tells us that. All things work together for good for those that love him and are called according to his purpose. So what the enemy has tried to bring against God, God is turning around and he's going to use it for good. And what the enemy is trying to do by establishing uh, destruction and famine and fear in the land, God is going to take actually those very instruments and use it for his glory. So the devil's been working for God the whole time, guys, and he doesn't even know it. He thinks he's working against God. And I'll tell you right now, the devil is working for God. I'm telling you, coronavirus it's going to work for God. It submits to Jesus because Jesus is king. You see, Jesus wins every single time. Now, let me break this down to you. Okay, crown in the Bible. There's a scripture. Isaiah 62 verse 3 says, You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Now listen to what crown means. Y'all need to stick. If you can only hang on for the next five minutes and let me break down the scripture, you need to hear this part. This is very important. So you can understand how spiritual this thing going on is. Okay. You shall be a crown in the hand of the Lord. You shall be a crown of glory. Crown in Hebrew. Listen to this. It means to encircle for protection or attack you will be a crown so what's been happening guys with the coronavirus the crown virus is it not mocking god's word when the hebrew meaning of crown means encircling for attack has it not been encircling has it not been coming in at every side, trying to close in to all land and create fear? Is it not trying to encircle for attack? So what is the opposite side of that? So what is God doing then? If this is what the enemy is doing, what is God doing? Oh, now I see crown in Hebrew means encircling for protection. So the Lord is encircling his people for protecting them in the midst of trouble, you shall be a crown of glory. And it's even higher than that. It's what God is raising up in his people right now that we shall be the crown of God. We shall be the ones encircling. We will be the ones protecting. We will be the ones praying over those that are sick. We will be the ones seeing them recover. We will be the ones healing the sick. We will be the ones raising the dead. What is God doing in the midst of this time? What the enemy tried to bring him for harm, God is using for good. Does coronavirus win or does Jesus win? You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. What is God saying? You shall encircle for protection. You shall compass about the land. And this is going to be glory for the Lord. He said, You'll be this encircling protection in the hand of the Lord. Okay, what does that mean? How are we an encircling crown? How are we a crown in the hand of God? Let me break this down for you. Okay, keep listening. We are encircling to protect. We are compassing about in the hand of God. Hand there in Hebrew means a hollow palm, a bowl, or power enclosed. The power of God enclosed in his hand. What, what is in the power of God enclosed in his hand? The crown. Who's the crown? You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. We are enclosed in the hand of God. He says, I have you in the palm of my hand. You are a crown bride. Hear me. 
Don't hear the fear. Don't hear the, the proclamations of the enemy proclaiming coronavirus, crowned virus, king virus. No, we shoot that down. We bind that lie right now. King Jesus is on the scene and I'm the crown. I'm the crown. You're not the crown. We're the crown, okay? So you see how the, the enemy is bringing a lie, trying to get people into the fear so they'll agree with that fear. And what does it do? Brings power to that lie. Brings power in agreement to that lie. We must not agree with the lie. Okay, let's keep going. So we're an encircling, protected people of glory in the hand of the Lord. What is glory? If we're a crown of glory, what is glory? Look at this. Glory means ornament, beauty, bravery, fair, glorious, honor, majesty, gleaming. So we're this crown of glory. We are encircling. We are protected. God is encircling his people as a crown. He's protecting us. See, because he's the crown. He's the king. He's, he's Jesus. He's King Jesus. He wears the crown upon his head. He's encircling his people to protect and it's causing bravery. We are an encircled, protected people of bravery. Glory meaning bravery. So put those, put that word in there and you see, okay, okay, now I see. We're not a people of fear attacked. Crown can mean for attack, encircling for attacking. And that's what the coronavirus is doing. It's trying to encircle to attack. But here's God with the crown of the encircling of protection. And he's saying, I'm encircling you and protecting you. I'm compassing you round about. And I'm bringing bravery in you. Bravery. Hello. I mean, the enemy's just confirming what God is doing. I mean, the Bible says when the enemy tries to come in, the persecution, it says, surely the spirit of the Lord rests upon you. Surely the Spirit of the Lord rests upon you, America, when the enemy tries to come in. Surely the Spirit of the Lord rests upon you, Earth, when, the, when this enemy tries to come in. We're not being encircled and attacked with fear. Oh, no. We're being encircled, encompassed about in the hand of our God, causing bravery and faith to raise up on the inside of us like never before. I want to tell you something cool right now before we keep going and breaking this verse down. Did you know that one of the greatest revivals that happened in the early 1900s happened because a plague hit? It hit Australia. It hit Australia and the church had to rise up and people had to rise up in faith and begin to beg and plead, not beg, but, you know, call out to God and plead to the Lord. Heal us, save us, set us free. And people started influxing into the church. Revival started happening. People started getting healed. It was crazy. And do you know what happened from that? The Welsh revival sparked from that. And then the uh, Azusa Street Revival sparked from that. Now listen to me now. Uh, did we not just have a fire sweep across Australia that caused revival, awakening, and calling out to the Lord again? Once again, something happened in Australia. We just had that fire sweep across there. I said, oh Lord, oh, oh Lord. This is a sign. It's, it's a sign. Things are happening in the spirit. The earth is responding. And now we have, have the, the plague trying to hit through China and trying to sweep the world. And I'm telling you that it's a sign that we are here. We are in awakening and revival has come because the enemy is trying to stop what God is spreading. God is spreading. God is spreading something in this time. God is spreading across the earth. God is spreading all the way. He's the contagious. He's the contagious love spreading across the earth right now. And the enemy says, oh no, I see the Lord coming. I see the Lord. He's high and lifted up. He's coming for his people. He's coming to, to release faith and release harvest and release encouragement and release the fire of God upon them. So they'll go and reap a harvest and I've got to stop them. How am I going to stop them? I'm going to put fear in them and I'm going to keep them shut up inside their houses. Hello. Okay, let's keep going. We can't give in to the enemy's fear, y'all. We can't. We're going to stop it today. We're stopping it today. Okay. You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. The open, I mean the enclosed powerful hand of the Lord. We are protected completely by the hand of God. His hand is encircled around us. And that's what that means. Now, some of you might need to go back and watch this over, rewind it, and hear how I broke down crown. Some of you are just jumping on. I'm breaking down what crown means in Hebrew. You need to hear it. So rewind this if you're, if you're just jumping on and get on it later and hear it. A crown encircling for protection of glory, of bravery in the hand, the enclosed powerful hand of the Lord. Isaiah 62.3 
Now let's look at the second part of this scripture. Hang on here. We're only halfway through with this verse. And you will be a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Royal diadem. Let's look at this. What does that mean? What is royal diadem? Royal in the Hebrew means something ruled. Are y'all ready? Something ruled. A realm. Kingdom. To reign. Be made king. Wow. So you see, God is making us kings and making us established in the earth in our authority of who we are in Christ, that we are kings and priests because Jesus Christ is in us and who wins? Jesus wins. And who is king? Jesus kings. Coronavirus, king virus, you might try to call yourself that, but we tell you bow your knee to the Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus is king. Jesus is establishing his throne and every name must bow to Jesus Christ. And this virus is bowing and the church of God is not going to agree with this lying devil. And we're going to get on our knees and we're going to get the power of God in us. And we're going to speak in tongues and we're going to get the spirit of faith in us. And we're going to stand up against every wile of the devil. And we're going to stand in the midst of it and say, God is encompassing us to protect us. We shall not be moved. Not one hair on our head shall be harmed. God said, Psalm 91, if a thousand fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, it shall not come near you. Okay, we quote this and we believe it, but it's time to stand in it, guys, because now is the place where you get to show God how much you believe him. Now is the time where you get to actually walk out that faith. This is good stuff. The Bible says, show me your faith by your works. So we get to work it now. Are we in fear? or are we in faith? I tell you that the tribulation shall try it and test it. This is the time where we get to be tested and we get to show God that we're faithful. Royal diadem, something ruled, a realm, a kingdom, a reigning to be made king. You shall be a royal diadem. You shall be made king. Come on somebody. God, the crown is on us. The crown is not on the virus, okay? The crown is on us. <laughs> Let's get it right. Look at what diadem means. Diadem means a head wrap. It means a fish hook. A fish hook is a harvester, guys. It's catching the fish. It means a window. Okay, listen to this. Y'all have got to stay on here because this is good. I need this to, you need to piece this together like a puzzle because the Lord loves to speak in parables and, and puzzles. Okay. So diadem is a head wrap. It's a harvesting. It's a fish hook. It's a harvesting. It's, it's this wrapping thing, this royal diadem that God is wrapping around his people, around our mind because that's where we need it. He's encompassing us with this crown. This protecting crown of his glory, of his bravery, of his faith. And we become this royal diadem, which is this, this kingdom realm wrap around our head. Are you hearing me now? And something is happening in the mind of the church that God is dealing with right now. Something is happening in the believers because everybody is having to be face to face with what they really believe right now in the midst of all this chaos. Who wins. We have to ask ourselves that question and we have to answer this question. So God is wrapping us with this harvest mentality, this royal mentality, this kingdom mentality. And then because this happens, because we, we, because we allow this wrap around our head, we allow this crown upon our head because we step into this revelation, something happens. It becomes not just a head wrap. It turns into a window. And when it turns into this window, something happens. God begins to open the window and we begin to see truth. This is why you cannot agree with the spirit of fear. We're not ag agreeing with King virus. We're agreeing with King Jesus. Okay. Corona means, means King means crown. We're not, we're not identifying with crowned virus. We're identifying with crowned Jesus. Okay. We're identifying with the cross and what the cross did for us. Okay, keep listening. Here we go. We're going to bring this in because there's way more. 
There's so much more. You want to see the notes in my Bible? Look at this. Look. Look at... <laughs> That's all the notes just on this one verse. Look. See the top? I, I'm trying to do this, but I'm, it's backwards. Okay, look. Look at all my notes, okay? That's all on the Hebrew of these one, two, three, four, five, six words. I'm breaking down crown, glory, hand of the Lord, royal diadem, and then hand of thy God, which is a different hand than the first hand. Are you ready? Oh, you need to hear what the second hand means. Okay. So we're on royal diadem. Okay, we're talking about that. Y'all have got that. It's the head wrapping of the kingdom mentality, the kingdom realm. Okay. There's more to it. There's a lot more. And then it becomes, it's a, a window. I'm trying to keep this simplified. It becomes a window. Okay. And when it becomes a window, things begin to be seen. Now, when it becomes a window in the hand of God, this hand is not the power enclosed hand of the first hand. This hand is a different hand. This hand is an open hand. Now that's interesting. We're a crown in the beginning of this verse inside the powerful enclosed hand of God. But in the second part, we're a royal diadem in the open hand of God. This is interesting. So first, God is showing us, hey, you're protected by me. I've crowned you with glory. You need to know that. You need to understand that's your position. And when you understand this position of being crowned, being encompassed by God, when you really know it, it's going to cast out all that fear and then something, something happens. When all the fear is, is shedded off of us, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When all that fear is shedded off of us, then God, he, he holds us in his hand until we get it. Do you understand? He's protecting us until we get it because he understands that the power of agreement with fear will bring in destruction and he doesn't want that for us. So he holds us inside really close to him. He says, you're my crown. You're my glory. Know how close I am to you. My power is, ha, has you. I've got you cupped in the palm of my hand. You're my crown. You're my glory. You can be brave. You can believe. I've got you. I'm encompassing you. I'm, I'm circling you. I'm protecting you. Do not fear. And so here we are inside this hand. He closes the hand where nothing can get in. Nothing. Nothing can get into this hand. We're completely covered, guys. Do you understand? There's an anointing upon us. And the anointing breaks every yoke. Okay, you can't get sick. That's a whole nother teaching. Okay, we're going to break that down another day. So here we are. We're inside the hand of God. And then something happens in the second part. Then we shall be a royal diadem in the hand of our God. Now this is the open hand. Once we understand that position of being inside the closed hand, then we can be in the open hand. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this is the hand of the people that have accepted who we are. We know who we are. We have the authority of King Jesus on us. We know that he wins every single time. And because of that, we have the head wrap. We have the royal diadem of the kingdom mentality. Are y'all catching me? Are you following me? We have the kingdom mentality now that becomes the fish hook or the harvesting diadem in the open hand of God because God is saying, go forth with the kingdom mentality and harvest my fish. Diadem means fish hook. It means head wrap. Royal means kingdom realm. Something ruled being made king. This is where we've been made. We've understood it. We've come into the conforming of the image of Jesus Christ. We've become the identity with him. We've truly been conformed. We've been changed. We are Jesus in the earth now. Now we're the royal diadem, not the ones cowering under the protection of God. God wants us to come out of the cowering protection place of thinking, I don't know if I'm protected or not. Understand that we are. We are protected. We're encompassed by God. We are his crown. He wants us to understand that. And now let's move on from that. If we are protected, if we are crowned with glory, then how do we behave? Because faith looks like something. 
faith manifests something. So if we truly believe that we're not harmed, we're not touched, like Apostle Paul when he got bit by the snake and it should have killed him because it was poisonous and he shook it off and he went about his way. And then all the times he was stoned, he was actually killed and people had to raise him from the dead or God raised him from the dead because he wasn't done preaching yet. And it's like, do we have a purpose in the Lord? Are we commissioned by God? Have we been sent forth by the word of the Lord? And if so, no enemy can steal me out of God's hand he can't take me out of God's closed hand. He can't take me out of my purpose. He can't take me out of my promises. He can't take me out of what I'm supposed to fulfill. Therefore, if I really believe this, guys, if we really believe this, then how are we going to move? How are we going to step forward from this place if we truly believe we're protected by God? It would look very different than the way a lot of people are responding. Do you know the church in China, they've been bringing people in, praying over them and seeing people healed? And see, this plague in Australia in the early 1900s, it did something to the church. They said, we've got to believe that God heals. We can't give in to this fear. We've got to believe he heals. Now use wisdom, sister. Well, I am. I'm using the spirit of wisdom right here. That tells me <laughs> that my God has covered me under the shadow of his wing and that I am protected. We have to believe it. I don't care if I look like a fool for Christ. Let's be fools for Christ. Does coronavirus win or does Jesus win? Who wins? I'm going to let you answer that question in your own life. Let's keep going. There is more to this. There's more to this verse. Can you believe there's more? I literally spent four hours on this verse when I studied this years ago. Years, guys. And the Lord told me, you need to bring out that teaching on crown because this is what the enemy is trying to come against in my people. This is a spiritual war. This is a spiritual battle. And the Lord is silencing this lie right now. And this revelation is going to cut it. Okay. Now, crown. Let's go back to crown because there's some more to it. Crown. The Hebrew letters of crown. If you draw them out and write down the meaning of each letter, the first letter means I. The second letter means to twist. The third letter means person or highest person. And the fourth letter means window. Okay, follow me now. I'm going to repeat this because I need y'all to get the picture. You might need to close your eyes. You might need to picture this because it says something. So the first letter means I. It means to see. It means to know. It means to experience. Remember, we're talking about the word crown in the Hebrew, and I, I want you to think of this twofold. I want you to think, how is the enemy trying to use this crown for him, and how is Jesus giving us the true crown? So I want you to take this definition and see how the enemy has tried to use what crown means and bring in fear instead of faith. God wants to bring in faith with the crown. The enemy wants to bring in fear with the crown or the corona means crown, okay? In Spanish, corona, crown. Because guess what? The structure of the virus looks crown-like. It looks like a crown. So they named it coronavirus, crown virus. So you see the enemy, Nothing is coincidence, guys. The enemy named that virus, okay? So look at what he's trying to say. The enemy, let's look at the enemy's version of crown first. He's trying to say, see, I'm twisting your understanding of the highest person and bringing a fence around it because the last letter also means fence. So the enemy is trying to fence you in with fear by twisting what crown really means and what God is really saying and what's really happening in the spirit and get you to see this version and this vision of it when God and Jesus is saying, see this vision. Okay, what's Jesus saying? What does crown really mean? Atara. Atara. Guys, give me a thumbs up if everything's coming in clear, if the signal looks good. Just real quick, give me a thumbs up if the signal is okay. It's good. I see one thumbs up. Okay, good. Atara, crown. So what's God saying? God's saying, you need to see the twisting of the enemy. You need to see that he has been surrounding you. You need to see that he's trying to cause you to not look away from the highest person. And you need to get revelation right now. Okay, so 
Atara, crown, to see and surround the highest person for revelation. If you break it down, that's what it means. Jesus is saying, surround the highest person, look at him and get revelation. So listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. Crown is not just a um, noun, okay? To the Lord, crown is an action, it's a verb, and it's a position. So in Hebrew, when you break this down, crown means surrounding the highest person. You see how many layers there is to this? It's crazy. It's crazy. If you just jumped on, you've got to go, you've got to watch the whole thing. You've got to rewind it. You've got to watch the whole thing. You've got to go and watch the replay and rewind it. Crown means your position of looking at Jesus in the center of all things. Jesus is king, high and lifted up. And it means you walk around him. You surround him as he surrounds you. It's actually a intertwining. That's the twisting. Remember the second letter means twisting with crown? Okay. So the Lord, y'all, this is deep, so you got to follow me. The Lord is surrounding you as the crown, but he said, you're a crown. So what does that mean you're doing? You're a crown and you're surrounding the Lord. What's happening? Oh, this looks like a dance. I'm surrounding him and he's surrounding me. He's looking at me and I'm looking at him. And these, these, these letters of the word crown in Hebrew means as we're twisting, that's the twist. See, the enemy wants to twist and say it's bad, but God's saying twist and dance. Dance with me. Look, look into, peer into the highest person. Twist, dance, come around, surround, 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 around and around and around and around. <gasps> We're in a dance. And then what happens? Revelation happens because as we look at Jesus, every time we go around him, we see another angle of who he is. And the window, remember I talked about the window. The window of the crown is the last letter in crown in Hebrew, and it means to reveal. So as you're twisting around Jesus, as you're dancing around Jesus, you're seeing him, you're looking at him, a window begins to open up inside of the Lord. And every time you go around Jesus, another window opens up and you see more revelation of who he is. And it's opening the eyes or the windows of your soul, the windows of your faith, the window of your spirit. So when the Lord looks at us, oh, thank you, Lord. Wow. He's just even talking to me more. This is awesome. So as the window of Jesus opens, just as see, whatever we do with him happens to us because it's a mirror. I'm getting this in like layers of revelation. I hope y'all are following me. So as the window opens in Jesus, as we're surrounding him with the crown and the window opens on every time we look, we see Jesus, Jesus looks at us, he's surrounding us. So when he's peering into us, a window opens and revelation of who we are opens and we begin to see uh, who we are in him and he sees more in us and we see more in him and it's a mirror it's a face-to-face -face encounter it's a knowing uh you know knowing in part as, as like now we know in part but then we, we shall be known are y'all following me because this is it's hit me by revelation so i'm trying to do this uh, simple, but the Lord is downloading it. Like, you know, you know how he downloads things like a glory train and it's like really fast. It's like, bam, get this. And I'm like, whoa, okay, I got it. So we're in this divine dance with the Lord of where revelation happens of the kingdom of who we are in Christ, who he is, who his kingship is. We begin to view it. We see it. We surround it. We continually go around and around the Lord, staring at his person, staring at the highest one, the Lord most high, the Lord above the heavens, the Lord most high, the Lord above the earth. And what happens is we peer into him, revelation opens and we are changed. Then we become this royal diadem in the hand of God. This is the place where we need to be first. If you've not gotten the revelation of Jesus Christ, you need to encircle him and encircle him and encircle him and let him encircle you and circle you and circle you until something happens where that revelation and that manifestation comes forth and your, your name is changed. The new name comes that like we, we talked about before and which is really crazy. The verse right before this, y'all, I hope I'm not going too fast. Tell me if I'm going too fast. The verse right before this, remember we talked about new name last week. I'm really excited, so I'm going to try to slow down so you can follow me. The verse right before this says, And the Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all kings your glory, talking about Israel, and you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. 
right before Isaiah 62, 3 is Isaiah 62, 2, talking about the new name. So if you didn't hear the new name, y'all know that these sessions are completely orchestrated by God and they build one on another. So I'm not going to be reteaching that. If you want to hear the new name teaching, you have to go back last week and you have to click on the, uh, the, the title, your new name. And that was prophetic from the Lord. And I didn't know he was going to have me do this this week. And then he told me, get that scripture out and talk about crown. And I look at it and then I see right above it, it's talking about the new name. And I said, no way. Come on. <laughs> no way did this just happen. But the Lord knows what he's doing, doesn't he? And nothing is a coincidence. Everything is ordained. So here we are, guys. This divine dance is happening with the Lord, and he's showing us who the real king is. Corona virus is not king virus. Jesus is king Jesus. Okay? Hallelujah. Just a few more minutes. I'm almost done. I'm going to pray. We're going to pray about this, and we're going to I'm going to let you guys go. Hallelujah. If you want to give, go to contagiouslove.intl.com. Somebody just requested uh, a PayPal link. If you want to do that, there's a PayPal link on there. Contagiouslove.intl.com or you can go to paypal.me forward slash contagious love. That's easier if you have a PayPal account. So somebody can type that up for me. A lot of you, you know us and you know our link. So if you guys could type that up for me, that would be great. Hallelujah. Okay, there is so much more, y'all. I didn't even go into everything that is involved in this scripture. I mean, you would just, you would just flip out. We just, you need to eat this for hours. So I'm going to encourage you to go study the Hebrew of these words and eat it and draw out the pictures of the Hebrew words and write down what each one means and think about it and picture it in your mind because the Lord loves to use pictures. So here's what God is doing. He's saying, don't be distracted by the enemy's lies of coronavirus because the enemy is just counteracting what's already happening in the spirit. So this is how we need to bring this to a close before we pray. So you can see now what is really happening. Isaiah 62 verse 3 is the scripture we're breaking down today. Go study that on your own. Read different versions. Read the Amplified. Read the, read the Hebrew breakdown. Get your concordance out. Go study those words. Think about what each word means. Crown is not just a crown. It's an encircling dance with God where revelation happens because you stare at and look into the one who is the highest person of all and that's Jesus Christ so you see the enemy's trying to turn our head saying look at coronavirus look at coronavirus look at it look at it look at it and Jesus is saying no look at me I'm doing a great harvest this year and the enemy's trying to come in and attack and come against what the Lord has released in the spirit and that's the crowning of his bride that's the crowning of his queen that's the crowning of his people and he's released that in the spirit for this great harvest and so when the enemy saw this great harvest anointing being released in 2020, he, t he had to try to counteract it to shut down what? The public marketplace that's bringing the gospel for all. How do I know this? Because the dream I had last night, I didn't even share that yet. Y'all need to stay on here. If you can't watch this whole session, watch it in pieces, you need to hear this. The dream I had last night, I saw the preaching in the marketplace, the open preaching. The Lord had me stand up when I, anytime I saw a crowd, I would say, this looks like a good place to preach. And I'd go stand up on top of a chair and I'd start saying, I need everybody's attention. And I'd start declaring the word of God. I'd tell my testimony, how he set me free from drugs and how he wants to do miracles. He wants to heal you. He wants to save you. He wants to set you free. He wants you to come to him. He wants to know you. He wants to love you. And I knew that God wanted to do miracles to bring in the lost and to bring in the unbelievers. He wants to heal the sick as a sign of who he is and his kingdom is here. And the enemy is trying to stop the open marketplace preaching and he's trying to stop the evangelism because y'all know that it sparked this year with the Bob Jones word. Uh, something happened in us. We were revived and in and, and Monday, especially going out into the streets. Y'all know this of evangelism. So the, the enemy sees, oh, there's a movement happening. Okay. Hello. Let's wake up. There's a movement happening. People are starting to preach Jesus with boldness in the marketplace, standing up in movie theater seats, standing up. We know other, all kinds of people doing this, standing up in restaurants, proclaiming who Jesus is. Come on, guys standing on the corners, uh, praying for the sick, preaching. Come on. 
So we've got a movement happening in the body of Christ. We got woke up. We're on fire. We're, we're full of the love of God and we're full of the, the fire of God for this harvest because it's the time and it's the season that we're in. So what's the enemy going to try to do? Shut it down. Are we going to let him? Are we going to let the enemy do this to our great harvest that God has called us to bring in this year? Or are we going to say no to the lies of the devil? And are we going to stand up in the marketplace anyways? I challenge the church to not give in to fear of this devil. I challenge the church to stand up anyways and preach in the marketplace. I challenge you. Just like the Chinese Christians who are on fire. Did you see them in the streets? I mean, they were wearing their masks and their gowns and everything, but they had their megaphones to their mouth and they were preaching the gospel in China on the street. So you see what the enemy tried to use to shut down the voice of the body of Christ actually is being used to make it louder because he shouldn't have, oughtn't have done that. He shouldn't have messed with the people of God because persecution should make you more on fire. It should make you more just adamant, more determined, more intentional about getting this harvest than ever before because this enemy is not going to stop the harvest of God coming forth in the earth in this time. It's time to rise up, church. It's time to preach the good news. We must obey Jesus and not the devil. We must obey Jesus Christ. He said, go and preach to the world. Do not fear. Do not fear their faces. Do not fear. He said in the end, plagues would come. He said diverse diseases and sicknesses. Diverse means spread. It means worldwide. It means throughout the earth. He said this would happen. So are we going to just trust in the Lord our God? Or are we going to cower in fear to the enemy? And I want to be found faithful, guys, even unto death. We must say, God, I will be found faithful in the fire. No matter what it looks like, I will stand and believe. I will preach. I will move with the Spirit of God. And I thank you, Lord, that your anointing is upon me. So go back and listen to this whole scripture, this whole thing of how I break it down. Some of you need to hear it two or three times because the fear of this coronavirus has literally shaken you to your core and you've been having panic and you've been having anxiety because you're afraid it's coming to my state. Oh, no, it's already in my state. Oh, no, it's going to spread. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Well, listen. The Lord our God, Jesus walked through the towns and he healed leprosy. Guys, this is not a problem for Jesus. And in fact, it's a little nothing. It's a completely little nothing. It's going to have no power. It's going to be ripped out of this earth in Jesus' name. Because the church of God, we're not going to agree with this thing. We're not agreeing with King Virus. We're agreeing with King Jesus. Come on, somebody, let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord, I just thank you right now. I know, Lord, that you wanted me to come on here today because you want to bind the spirit of fear because it's a liar. And Lord, right now, I speak, Lord, in the spirit realm to every believer in this world right now. And I bind the spirit of fear. Come on, guys, won't you pray in the Holy Ghost with me? Come into agreement with me. We bind the spirit of fear. We bind that lying voice. Lord, you said whatever we bound... And the earth is already bound in heaven. Hallelujah. I thank you. The spirit of fear is bound in heaven. And Lord, as it is in heaven, so let it be on the earth. I thank you that spirit of fear is bound in this earth right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now that the God of peace will crush Satan under our feet. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you that we're not going to let the enemy into the window of our soul. We're only going to let Jesus Christ into the window of our soul. Lord, I ask for the spirit of faith right now, the gift of faith, which is one of the gifts of the spirit. I ask for that gift of faith right now to be released in me and released in your people watching. Faith rise up right now in Jesus name. Faith rise up right now in Jesus name. Faith rise up right now in Jesus name. Hey!
Hey, ora bashana ba kora masonda ba kora bashana ba kera masana ba kata. Ora be dere be kera masana ba kora masonda ba kora masonda ba kera masana ba kata. Ora de de de. Don't let this lion in. Don't let that devil in. Kora basota ba kora basonda ba kete. Don't let this devil keep eating at your soul. Ora bashonda ba kora basonda ba kera masonda ba kera masonda ba kete. He's trying to shut it down. Ora bashonda ba kora basonda ba kato. He's trying to shut you down. Ora bashonda ba kora basonda ba kete. It's time to arise, my people. Ora bashonda ba kora basonda ba kete. It's time to arise, my people. Ora bashonda ba kete. Surely the spirit of God will rise upon you. My glory shall be seen upon you. You are a crown in the hand of God. You are a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Boy, I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. He wants his people to rise up and know who he is. Those of you in your state, you begin to push back that thing in your state. We curse the life of it. Father, I thank you for cursing the life in the coronavirus right now. Hallelujah. Lord, we speak the crown of God encircling that thing. It thinks it's going to encircle. It's not going to encircle. Lord, you're going to encircle. We speak the encircling crown crown of God right now around every virus outbreak around every cluster we speak the encircling we release your crown we release your crown Lord we release your crown right over those clusters oh hallelujah I see it in the spirit I release the crown of God right around it right now. Hallelujah. Encircling it. And attacking the life of it. Hallelujah. The violent take it by force, Lord. Go take it by force, Lord. Let your violent nature go take it by force, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your glory be seen in the situation. Hallelujah. The glory of God is going to be seen upon your people because they're going to rise in faith and they're going to go and they're going to encircle this thing. They're going to attack it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. They're going to attack it in the spirit from a place of authority, from a place of position, from a place of being seated high in high places with Christ. Hallelujah. Seated in the heavenly places with Christ. Hallelujah. Seated in heavenly places with Christ. Hallelujah. The anointing breaks the yoke. That's why you need to pray in the Holy Ghost. The anointing breaks the yoke. Now pray in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is talking to you. The Holy Ghost is talking to you. He's doing things in your spirit right now. That fear is breaking. And the faith of God is coming upon you in a fresh way. You're going to walk out of your house today and you're not going to feel afraid. I will give you every place where your feet tread. Hallelujah. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Get in the rhythm of the Spirit and hear the Holy Ghost right now. Something's happened supernaturally. As you just pray in the Holy Ghost, let that faith of God just rise up on the inside of you. There goes that crown upon your head. Oh, Jesus. He's placing the crown upon your head. And you're placing the crown upon his head. King Jesus. I see us placing the crown on his head. You're king. You are king. I see him taking a crown and placing it upon our head. And he's saying, you are king. You are king. You are king. You are the force in the earth that I have crowned for my glory to be seen. Rise up, my children. Rise up, my children. Rise up, my children. 
and I just release the scripture over them Father that you shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God that's who you are that's who you are thank you Jesus for that anointing right now that anointing is just coming over you it's breaking off that spirit of fear he's, a, he's imparting right now a spirit of faith a gift of faith to stand against every attempt of the enemy Father I give you praise I give you praise I give you praise I thank you Lord for how you're moving for how you're moving in the earth I thank you nothing will stop our God I thank you nothing will stop this great harvest I thank you it is coming forth I thank you that is what you've said that is what you have said you have not lied you you have not teased your people. You have spoken truth to us. I thank you every single word that you have spoken. Will not fall to the ground. Everything you have spoken, Father, will come forth and bring forth fruit in this time in Jesus' name. We declare and say, let the fruit of 2020 come forth in Jesus' name. We declare the harvesters come forth in 2020 in Jesus' name. Jesus name we declare the people of faith to stand and arise and let the glory of God go forth into the harvest fields in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah guys I need you to share this right now because everybody needs to hear this everybody needs to hear this word I need you to share this I feel the anointing all over this the anointing is touching people God is shaking things he is moving things he is touching us he is moving through us we are going to see the glory of God in this year like we have never seen it before do not let this discourage you do not let this cause you to be dismayed do not let the enemy distract you to a lie the Lord says keep looking at me and see the truth keep looking into my eyes children and see the truth of what I'm saying see the truth of what I'm doing see me see and know the salvation of your God hallelujah in Jesus name Whoa, take a minute and share this right now. Lord, I just thank you right now. I just bless everybody that's watching. I bless them. Lord, I just thank you for healing, touching their body right now. In Jesus' name, as they've watched, Lord, just let your healing flow. Let your deliverance flow. Let miracles flow, Lord, because that's what you do. And I just thank you, Jesus, right now. Your name be glorified on this session, that you follow it with signs, wonders, and miracles. So, Lord, I thank you right now that you're following this word to confirm it with signs, wonders, and miracles. And healing is taking place right now. There's people's bodies you're being being touched right now you're being loosed from pain right now you're being loosed from disease right now you're being loosed from sickness right now you're being loosed from it we loose you from it I 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 loose you from it in Jesus name Lord I thank you for that anointing right now that you're breaking every yoke right now I curse the root of cancer I thank you Lord that cancer is shriveling up it's going in Jesus name hallelujah Lord I thank you that you're cleansing the blood right now diabetes is going in Jesus name people in the there's somebody with your foot your foot has been aching it's been hurting there's there's stuff happening in your feet and the Lord is touching your feet you need to stand up upon your feet right now you need to begin to jump you need to begin to shout you need to begin to stand upon your feet you need to praise the Lord for your miracle has come forth I need you to let me know who that is I need you to tell me as the Holy Ghost is touching you pain has left your body you're checking it right now you see that the pain is gone I need you to come back to your computer to your phone and you say, the Lord just touched me. I am healed. All the pain in my feet is gone. All the pain in my body is gone. Hallelujah. Oh, the Holy Spirit, He loves you so much. I feel the violent wind of God. He's surrounding you. He's surrounding 
surrounding you. Like he's surrounding the crown. Like he's surrounding. He's crowning you. He's surrounding you. The wind of God is coming around you. He's touching you. He's filling you. He's empowering you. He's breaking off the weariness. He's breaking off the sickness. He's breaking off the emotional strains. He's breaking off all that stuff. And the power of God, the power of God is coming on you right now. That anointing is just breaking that yoke right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. Put your hands up to the Lord. Come on a few more minutes. The Holy Spirit is moving right now. There's things happening. The Holy Ghost is moving. The power of God is coming upon people. Who's going to win? Oh, Who's going to win? Who's going to win? The healing is moving right now. Just receive it. Kimberly, receive that healing right now in Jesus' name. All over your body from your head to the soles of your feet. Father, thank you for that healing. There is healing moving in many people right now. I need you to let me know what's happening. You need to be checking your body. You need to be moving. You need to be checking. You need to be bending those joints. You need to be checking for those cysts. You need to be checking for those 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 spots. You need to be checking for things. You need to be checking, 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 checking all over. And what you check in your body right now, the Holy Spirit is moving over you. He is showing Jesus is King. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He's lifting Jesus up. He's lifting up Jesus as King. And he's going to confirm this word today by signs following. So Holy Spirit, I thank you for doing what you're doing. You're releasing the signs right now. You're releasing healing right now. We're just waiting on the Lord. People are being touched right now. Heather, I thank you, Lord, for that neck being touched right now. Right now. Pain go. Sickness go right now. I command everything to come into a line right now. Neck come into a line. Back come into a line. Hips come into alignment right now. I speak to nerves. Lord, I ask that nerves be healed. Lord, I just speak, Lord, healing to their bodies wherever they're hurting, Father. Just touch their bodies right now. Let healing come forth. Lord, I just release forgiveness right now in the spirit. I just release forgiveness. Lord, I ask you to just forgive them and loose them today. Forgive them, Lord. Cover them in the blood of Jesus and loose them today. In Jesus' name, I thank you right now. I feel the compassion of the Lord just coming over you right now. Those of you that have been weary and you've been you've been just shaken right now in this time in your life, and the compassion of the Lord is just coming upon you. He's healing you. He's setting you free right now. Let the power of God come upon you. Just put your hands up, and you can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit who, who testifies of Jesus Christ, that Jesus is Lord. Say, Lord, touch me. Holy Spirit, heal me. Thank you for doing that in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your presence just coming upon them right now. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, let your crown go around each person like we talked about the crown today. I thank you for the crowning. I thank you for the encircling on each one, the crowning and the power of God over each one right now in Jesus name. Every sickness, every disease breaks. Every demonic spirit that's been attacking your life, it has to break. It has to go in Jesus name. It has to back up because the anointing is upon you and the anointing breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you're doing, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. We worship you. We give you glory. Glorify Jesus. I just thank you. I'm just waiting for the testimonies to come in because I know the Lord's touching people. So we're waiting on the Lord right now. Just pray in the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands to Him. Hallelujah. 
there's happening there's there's healing happening now hallelujah 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 we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we
is your name. You are holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. moving over you I feel him touching you making you new making you new in every broken place every broken place is being made new it's being made new Every broken place, every weakened place, it's being made new, it's being made new. Oh, every broken place, every hurting place, it's being made new. It's being made new. Just let my breath breathe. Just let my breath breathe. Breathe on you. I'm breathing on you. Just let my breath breathe. Just let my breath breathe. I'm breathing on you, making you new. Breathing on you, making you new. Breathing on you, making you
shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. So where the enemies tried to laugh, God is dealing with him. I don't know why I'm singing this way, but it feels like God. I feel the joy of heaven displayed all throughout my heart. He that sits in the heaven shall laugh. He shall have him in derision. Thank you, Lord, for the derision. Thank you, Lord, for your name. Thank you, Lord, for sending that derision all across this great land. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Woo! I feel that. Glory. Something's happening to us. We're being overtaken by the glory of the Lord. Father, thank you so much for this session today. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your healing. I thank you for the songs. I thank you for your peace. I thank you for your joy. Thank you, Lord, for coming in again and breaking every yoke of the enemy. 
every yoke that's tried to come on us this week, Lord, you just broke it in the anointing. I thank you for that. I thank you for the faith imparted today that we are being crowned with you, that we are crowned in the hand of our Lord, and that we are a royal diadem in the hand of our God. Lord, I thank you for that. I thank you for greater intimacy and levels of the secret place this year. I thank you you're opening the revelation of who you are even greater. Lord, we are hungry. We say yes. We say we want it. And we thank you, Lord, for what you have put in us today. We thank you for sealing that by the Holy Spirit in the name of your mighty, mighty Son, Jesus Christ, King Jesus. Amen. Guys, share this if you didn't share it. And if you want to become partners with us, you can do that at Contagious Love, I-N-T-L dot com. And if you want to give one time there, I feel the glory so strong, y'all. If you want to give one time there, you can do that. If you just want to sow one seed, that's fine. That's wonderful. Pray over it. We pray over them. And we will come into agreement with you for the Lord to increase you this year, increasing the fruits of your righteousness and multiplying your seed sown. Um, this is a year of increase. This is a year of multiplication because God wants his harvest. And that's what it's about. He's going to increase our finances. He's going to multiply our finances where we've sown because he needs us to get to those that are broken, those that are lost, and those that have need. So the Lord's going to increase you. Remember, it's for the poor. It's for the brokenhearted. And of course, he wants to bless you too, but he wants you to be a blessing. Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. So bless others. Bless others this year, especially this year going into this great harvest harvest, God is going to cause us to open our hand to others the way he's opening his hand to us. And Father, I thank you for that. I just ask for increase on those that can give, those that can be part of Contagious Love International Ministries. Lord, if you are speaking to them, Lord, I just pray they hear your voice and whatever you say to do, Lord, that they would do whatever you say because you are king and not us. We are your servants and we are here to serve you. So Father, whatever you want from this session today, however you want people to, to give or however they can be part. Um, Lord, I just thank you for speaking to their hearts today in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just ask that you would increase people in their prayers for us, that um, people would continue to pray for us, Lord, especially going forward this year and as we go into the harvest. I just thank you for spear-throwing warriors to join hands and hearts with us and lift us up in prayer as you bring us to their memory. I thank you for that too, Lord. I know you have done so many, and there's so many of you on here, partners um, that are praying for us and, and standing with us and sewing into us. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for sharing. If you didn't share, share it. If you just jumped on here and got on the end part, you need to rewatch it and hear the word of the Lord about this virus and about what Jesus is really saying and about what's really happening in the spirit. Hallelujah. So if you were healed, also make sure you let me know on the comments, even in the replay. Tell me what the Lord did. Tell me where the pain left. Tell me what's different. Tell me what you noticed on your body. Um, go check your levels if you've had diabetes or anything that requires testing or levels or go to your doctor's test, you know, and come back and report what the Lord has done. Whose report will we believe? We're going to believe the report of the Lord. Come back and testify of the goodness of God and the worthiness of Jesus to receive glory due to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you guys so much. I bless all of you. And if you had a prayer request on here, I want you to know I will see it. I will go back over it. I will pray over your request. Okay, continue in the love of God. Continue in the glory of God. His glory is upon us, guys. His glory is releasing upon his people. This is a good, good year because we have a good, good Father. I love you. I bless you all. So remember, it's time to awaken the church and it's time to awaken the heart. Oh, and come see us tomorrow at Ignite Church, Richmond, Kentucky. Monday night we'll be ministering tomorrow night. Richmond, Kentucky, Ignite Church. Information on our website. So come see us. ContagiousLoveintl.com for the event information. Okay, I love you. I bless you. Awaken the heart time. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.